All right, this is Kendall with Sailing Vessel Papillon. I'm giving a little video here to show an update on uh, the progress and what we found. So, in the previous video, I didn't have any audio at the time. Um, we started sandblasting. We started sandblasting in this area here. We, the intention was to take it down to the glass and to bring it back up and prime it and then uh, put a barrier coat on it and uh, a new bottom paint. Uh, when we opened this up, diesel fuel started spilling out of this area here. So it, evidently at one time there was a diesel leak on the boat. Uh, there isn't any diesel on the inside of the boat at this time, so this must have been there for quite a while. Anyway, as you can see, I've cut the glass back all the way it's about a quarter inch thick I've cut it back to where it's no longer delaminated so the intention is to cut back you can see this last notch um, the rest of it has to be cut back that far because that's the non delaminated line and once that happens then uh, the iron keel will be um, paint or uh, degreased with a industrial degreaser, sanded down smooth to bare metal, and then primed with a product called Total Boat. Total Boat, uh, Total Protect. It's made as a barrier coat for metals as well as glass, and uh, that's the intention. Then I'll be laying glass back up in six to eight inch strips along the keel going vertically going down like so and reconstructing it so that's the intention we'll take a look over on the other side I've got the keel opened up on this side enough to air out but as you can see, I had to chip out a lot in order. Um, this was all done with a with a chisel and a pry bar, just breaking it up and getting some air into it to make sure there isn't any more leaks. You can see here, diesel has been leaking out on this side. It appears to be dry now, but quite a bit came out. I would say it's hard to tell how much, but at least a gallon or two. I don't think it was much more than that. But this side has to be cut back as well. About the same height all the way across and then built back up again. And then on the stern, of course I've already broke and got the, uh, the rudder skeg and the rudder are already down to glass. Uh, I'm just letting them air out a little more and then I'll fair them and then uh, I'll put total protect on that and of course the barrier coat and uh, and the bottom paint as well so on the drive shaft on the uh, cutlass bearing housing the bottom bolt if you saw in the other video broke off clean I barely even got a wrench on it hardly had any torque and it just crumbled. So I've got some new uh, stainless steel lag bolts with the 3 8 uh, 16 thread um, that's going to attach the new cutlass bearing when it arrives and the cutlass bearing housing. Of course that'll get all sealed up um, with a waterproof uh, sealant to prevent any water penetration in there. This whole area is going to get uh, sanded down smooth and uh, I see there's a couple nicks in it right there. Those will all be smoothed out and re-glassed. So it'll be a smooth, clean surface when I finish. And of course, this is my new prop. This is a 16-inch 11 three-bladed prop, which was what was replacing this prop, which was a 13-inch 10 that was way two less blade for the for the 30 
horsepower Yanmar that's in the boat now. So it's got a brand new Yanmar 30 in it. It's got probably 15 hours. So this is the other side of the rudder. It's all stripped. I'm going to lay probably a layer of uh, 1708 on it just to reinforce it. Make it a little stronger, a little more watertight. And uh, you can't overbuild a rudder. Anyway, so this is a little uh, update video on uh, what's happening. And uh, I've got rain for the next four days, so I'm not going to have too much uh, work to get done on the outside, but i got plenty to do on the inside. So this is Kendall with Sailing Vessel Papillon.